There are a lot of reactionary tendencies out there, both at a macro and a micro level. At the macro level, you see the incumbents doing mega acquisitions, trying to somehow protect themselves from all the upstarts. I think that's a losing battle. And within organizations, you also see a, a defense against all of this complexity. Is if we can just get things more standardized, if we can just move more data up to the center, somehow we'll be able to get a handle on this. I also think that's largely a losing uh, enterprise. But the reason I'm very optimistic about it is I think there are three forces right now at work that are very simply stated that make the kind of transition we've all been hoping for, all been talking about inevitable. One of those is organizations and CEOs pretty much know today that they are up against problems that lie outside of that old model. They just understand that unless something fundamentally changes, we lose, number one. Number two, you have new tools that we never had before. You know, it used to be if it meant anything to be a leader, it meant that you could control the conversation. Now you can't. Now people can get together, make huge changes across an organization. You can get uh, coordination without centralization, and there are many wonderful examples of that happening. And then thirdly, maybe most importantly, you have a new generation coming to work. And, and the first generation in human history whose primary reference point is not a hierarchy. Right, for most of us, a little gray hair like, like you, like me, whether it was business, whether it was government, whether it was school, whether it's church, it was all organized on that old model.